Oh no, this, this is where definitely... Where the stuff is. This, I can't tell if this is a button check. <laughs> no, I definitely can't tell. Alrighty. Yeah, this is looking like a button yeah. check. Can't tell. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think I think we're in the game. Alrighty. Okay. So this, <laughs> so. Is, this is definitely a, a more chaotic match than the last one we saw, which was definitely really like clinical. Um, this one you got Zelda and Pikachu in one team, yeah, so you know like, it's gonna be wacky. They, they, like I said, they're controlling the stage so well that they like limit the other team's options. Ooh, that was close. Oh, he just kind of let that Luma go away. I think he was too afraid of getting like F smashed or something, which is yeah. understandable. Ooh, wow, that was grimy. Conversion. Zelda's up air is just so mean. It's very powerful, and I feel like Zelda, she gets a lot better in doubles because all of her, she has really good kill power. It's just that she doesn't have good setups to them. And she's on so her easy own. to get to like get bullied yeah. when you're playing singles, but, but you have like a partner. When you're playing doubles this. and you can set up into those powerful moves, it's so much better. It's so good. Now, do you know if he plays Zelda in singles, too? Yeah, he plays Zelda, Bayonetta, wow. uh, some other characters in singles. Blue team I is mean, a his tag solid is Zelda, move. so... Yeah, that's true. That's true. If blue team holds on to these two stocks that they have... Oh, never mind. Eat my words yeah. immediately. So, blue team gonna hold on to the slight lead here, but... Yeah, no, nope, not I anymore. Say, as Back. I say that, this, is like, even. This, this match is so chaotic and fiery. It's, like, pretty hard to... Uh, predict their next move. <laughs> I feel like... But now blue teams get stuck in the corner. They're going to have to try to find a way to regain center stage. Because red, like teams, red team's holding it down. They're just kind of reaction to their, reacting to their approach options. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't seen any like really great team combos from either team yet, but I th is, we're, we're just getting started, I think. so. Yeah. Blue team still with a slight percent advantage, but yeah, not, we'll see it's it. pretty. Ooh, that's wow, that was grimy. Setup. Yeah, there. I, I, I wouldn't call about that a grimy. I'd just say that's slick. Yeah, that was slick actually. But grimy is usually like greasy, makes stuff slick, you know. Ooh. Oh, I kind of missed that. And I feel like hard. most of the when you watch Pikachu's in doubles, at least Whoa. when I do, I'm usually expecting the Pikachu to be the one throwing to the Zelda, just because like Pikachu doesn't have those strong aerials that can like follow up off of a throw. Uh huh. But, ooh, that up smash, not gonna take it. No ridge on Pretty Boy. I've I really, did you see that? Zelda did the down throw on Rosalina, but then instead of going for a follow up, went for the neutral B immediately yeah. to take care of Luma. I think that's really important. Because when Luma's on the screen, it's really not 2v2, it's 3v2. <laughs> yeah. So. You got a third player on your team. It's not fair. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say, I've noticed uh, Zelda using her neutral B a lot. Oh, missed that. Uh, stage spike tech, so yeah. that's too bad. And on the topic of Luma, I feel like uh, the the team, the blue team, is not taking Luma away as often as they should be. Oh, as I say that, there she is. Oh, She's rolled into here. an up smash, so and that killed. They got, now they got 13 seconds to. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. They can they they can take their time. This no, is going to be really hard for time. Rosalina to come back from, especially because it's so easy in a two v one to just kill that Luma. But wait, is it? Is, I thought it was two v two. You have a Luma. It, we'll call it 2v1.5. Uh, okay, 2v1.5. <laughs> Luma's all alone now. Looks like it's about to go back to yeah. 2v1. Yep. <laughs> Alright, back, back to 2v1. Back down. This is a tough fight now. That was almost a good good kill right there. Oh, oh <laughs> the throw bait. armor. Yeah. <laughs> throw armor baiting is kind of, kind of a bully move, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, you're just bad. Ooh. But I don't know how but Luma didn't get hit by that, but we, whatever. So what looks like it should be in favor of the blue team. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that'll do it. Damn. In favor of the blue team. For, for real. So that's going to go, game one going to Let's Dance Boys. Let's Dance Boys and not even a Bayonetta on their team. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll see. Zelda does play Bayonetta. So oh, really? We'll see. We'll see if that gets busted out. But it doesn't, at this point, looks like they're not going to need it. His tag isn't Bayonetta. <laughs> There's a discrepancy here. So... Looks like they're gonna stick with this uh, Rosalina Mario, and they're just gonna switch up the stage. Hovering Town and City Battlefield. They're not sure which one they want. Uh, if I was them, I'd probably pick uh, Town and City. Not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah I agree. Because even though the blue team might like exert their like good stage control, like they had earlier, I feel like it's gonna be. It, because this match has been so chaotic, it's going to be easier for red team to get the kills uh, off the top. 
with yeah. that up smash that up air, you know. And look at the way blue team is covering each other's backs. They're not like reacting to the other team doing anything that isn't immediately affecting the partner. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Yeah. So we have blue team just kind of like trying their best to get something started, but I think this is there's never been a neutral in this yeah, match. No, <laughs> it's just I, been like I, I hitting each I'd other. I'd say that this is what many people would refer to as a slobber knocker. <laughs> slobber knocker. Feel, yeah. Like everyone's just walk running around, throwing out moot hits. It, it looks kind of disorganized, but That's my that favorite. spike that was, was not disorganized. <laughs> that was placed perfectly, yeah. immaculately. He's got the XY coordinates on Ooh, that. Ooh, and that back air from <laughs> Silent going to snipe out the Zelda recovery. We're back to even stocks. You have to have some, like, serious balls to fight that Zelda recovery. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know why Zelda isn't switching to... using that down B to go to Sheik. Sure <laughs> wrong game, here. wrong game. Oh, sorry. Has Lumen died yet? Uh, she has once, because otherwise it would be the yellow Lumen, right? Oh, you're right. Oh, good game knowledge. Ooh, and that, that lunar landing to interrupt the throw was really intelligent from fire. Not Pretty boy lay. missing his follow-ups. It's too bad. Yeah. That neutral B must be just such a pain. You can't really even approach Zelda. Yeah, who just kind of like pressing I feel like B and it's, winning. it's better in doubles just because of the space oh, it creates. Is. It can like it just. <gasps> oh, oh, almost. That was so close. He spiked the Luma. I yeah, think. he did. <laughs> Coming down with that downer. I, I wonder no if that'll fear. come back into play later. Maybe he'll expect that and hit him in the end log of the downer. That'd be some intense oh, calculation. Oh, that was really close to being. Oh. Ooh, that edge guard <laughs> well, turned Zelda. right around on him, and all of a sudden, this is a huge lead for Red Team. <laughs> yeah, wow. Look at, look at the stocks of, on Silent. We haven't been seeing much. He's just, oh, and as I said that, there's another spike. <laughs> this man's insane. Yeah, Zelda has no forgiveness. Yeah. So now stocks are even, but percents definitely aren't. Uh, we're going to have to see Blue Team pull some stuff together. But as oh, I say geez. that, ledge option red, like a book, <laughs> as they say. Taking a page out of the library. A page yeah. out of the library. Who does that? Silent does it. Okay. And now, I'd say if I was blue team, I'd want to try not to take as much, uh, that much percent, but I'd focus La Rosa, because then we can, they can force like a, a share stock situation and be in a much better spot. Man, Zelda went for another spike there, and he would have got it if that platform wasn't there. Yeah. I told you, this man's insane. He knows his stuff. Yeah, he Definitely, knows that un undeniably, the best Zelda player in the state, I'd say. And, <laughs> How many uh, Zelda players are there? Well, right now there's uh, there are four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, never mind then. Ooh, oh, oh, that's unfortunate. unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. I really hope they don't let that get to them too much. Uh, I know sometimes uh, when your partner kills you, you'll like lose some of the trust, but it's not what you want to do. <laughs> You wanna <laughs> they need some marriage counseling, that's what I think. Yeah. I think Fahrenheit and... Um, Ooh, red, oh, red team yeah, turned nice. this around so fast. Or, I mean, blue team had a chance, but... Almost. Not going to let it. And that was a, what started out as a big lead for the red team almost dwindled down to nothing. Because if Rosalina had died there, or, or I mean, sorry, if Mario had died there... That would have been a 2v1 situation for blue team, and we know their conversions are good, so... Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but that seemed like a solid um, reversal of the first game we saw. Yeah. Because now we're back to 1-1. One, one. And I feel like... What do you feel like they did differently? Because in my opinion, I think that they were just landing the hits that they were trying to, but their teamwork, like, as a doubles partner, like, they weren't synergizing significantly better. I feel like they were just getting the hits that they needed. I think the stage is a big part of it. The stage yeah, I agree with that too, actually. They, they have just like a little less stage to, a little less room on the stage to work with, you know? Less to worry about. Less yeah, management. Less to worry about. And less room for Pretty Boy and Zelda to just cut off their options like they had been on FD. Yeah. So going into game three, uh, let's see. Smashville? Smashville? The Hellfield? One of these two. Again? <laughs> Wait, no, last time it was Battlefield and Diamond City. Oh, they're tricking us up. I don't know what they're gonna do. Uh, I got money on Battlefield. Yeah, if I had to put money on it, I'd do the same. I feel like that's another big stage that they can use their control to the advantage of, to their advantage. 
they can, you know, control that space pretty easily. Uh, but oh. no, we're gonna go to Smash. I Bros. lost so my pennies. Small, small stage, small blast zones. I wonder how this is gonna pan out for these two teams. Honestly, with these small vas vas zones, sma uh, blast zones, I can't talk. I feel like this is just gonna have Rosalina all over it. She's just gonna get those easy kills. Yeah, but at the same time, she's gonna be in the thick of it more because there's not room for her to go back and retreat. So I feel like Luma might not be living as long as she has been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I agree with that. But right now, it's definitely looking oh, nice. uh, looking good for Red. They've got some conversions. Ooh. And if, if you look at Pretty Boy, he's being like, or sh yeah, he's been being like so evasive this whole game, just kind of running away, running away, and then only getting the hits when it's like a guaranteed punish. Yeah, like, or he just sat there and charged us. I feel like Pretty Boy's so like the only person on this screen who's like not approaching aggressively, but he's still not being like necessarily safe. So that might be something to work on. I think yeah, I think he's just kind of afraid of Red Team to be honest. Like, it's really easy to like hit Pikachu, and then once he gets hit, he just keeps on going. Yeah. Don't stop. Oh, that's a saucy Ooh. up smash. Ooh, goes, but that was really smart of fire. He recognizes that that uh, forward throw has a hitbox on it, runs back to wood. Now, I, I think my eyes might be playing tricks on me, but I'm pretty sure Mario just grabbed Zelda straight out of that neutral B. <laughs> like, he threw her down, and she was still in the animation. <laughs> Ooh, that up air. Almost gonna seal Zelda's oh, second song, that, was that was a sick combo. And now that they need really this cool. chance. Oh, they had a couple <laughs> seconds there to take the stock off Mario, but they didn't capitalize the way that uh, Fizz and Rubino might have in the previous set. But once again, this is looking really solid for... Wow, that was wow. unfortunate. Yeah. That's, this that's a feels bad, man. This is really good for, for Red once again. Like, excellently for Red, actually. I wonder if this, like, if the small stage and like the close boundaries are giving Red Team more of an advantage. And this, this was Blue Team's counter pick anyway. Yeah. So I wonder what the reason behind that was. I on the, uh, on like a good note for Blue Team, Red Team doesn't like Silent isn't taking his third stock still. So at least they took that off. Uh, but they've still got some work to do. I feel like blue team could still be in the running, but if oh, I was something gonna say, like that happens. yeah, if something if Zelda dies before Pikachu does, it's over. And uh, I have to say, I still feel that way. All right. Once again, they had that chance to get the kill, but uh, they didn't quite cover those options close enough. And Silent, with his tricky movement, is able to sneak past there. Oh man, no punish on that throw. Yeah. Zelda kind of whiffed it there. Oh. I mean, we've seen these Zelda downers. We know what, we know what this man's capable of. I think a pre oh. boy is just kind of like running out of ideas. He's just starting to throw out the F smashes. That's the pretty boy special. And. Well, you know, well, actually. See, you know, this is doable. He stocks are even. <laughs> for doable? Sure. I guess, but uh, likely? I don't know about that. Oh, yeah, this is it. <laughs> Bye. Alright, so. If Zelda, unless Zelda can somehow clutch Zelda, out this If Zelda gets one. a spike on Rosa, uh, he, I feel like he's going to like pull out the Super Saiyan and just take out Mario. Easy peasy. Mm. Never mind. But you can't commit to something like that. And this is, that's where Zelda's flaws show, or, yeah, flaws are, like, shown. Every good move that she has.